Hey everyone, The Leftman here for MoneyEvolution.com. In today's video blog, I want to talk about how to choose a financial advisor. So according to some recent research from Cerulean Associates, there's approximately 285,000 financial advisors in the United States. So where do you begin and how do you choose somebody that's going to be right for you and your situation? Well, one of the first places that I generally like to start is to start by talking with friends and family. Ask them who they use for a financial advisor and more importantly, ask them if they like their financial advisor. So beyond that, after you've gotten a couple names, you're going to want to spend some time interviewing or talking with some of these advisors. And first and foremost, what you want to do is you want to find somebody that you like. Um, obviously, this is somebody that hopefully you're going to work with for a long period of time. Somebody that's going to help you uh, move forward with some of your financial goals. And it's also going to be somebody that you need to feel comfortable with because oftentimes you may be sharing what could be some somewhat intimate uh, aspects of your financial life with them. And you need to feel comfortable that they're going to be accepting of that and help you move forward towards your goals. So as you start looking at these advisors, here's a couple of questions that I think you should have in mind and some things to think about. Uh, number one is you want to look at and understand how do they communicate with their clients and what is their process uh, for meetings and how often will you hear from that advisor. Something that we use within our practice is we like to refer to something uh, called agenda driven meetings and what that means essentially is every single meeting that we have with a client is going to get followed up with an email and in that email we're going to have a summary of what we discussed at that particular meeting. Uh, we're doing some financial planning, we're going to talk about any discoveries, any things that we maybe updated within that financial plan, uh, any new goals that, that you have and provide a really nice summary of that. We're also going to have um, a detail of any homework that we're going to be working on. So we might have some action items that we need to follow up on. Uh, we're going to list those out. We're also going to have a timeline uh, as to when you could expect the completion of those, time, of those uh, action items. Um, there may be some homework that you need to do. Uh, so we're going to list that out. Maybe you need to grab a, a pension estimate from work or maybe you need to download something from the Social Security website. We're going to list that out. And so you might have some follow-up items that you need to get uh, back with us. Um, we're also going to have the next meeting that we're going to have too. We're going to have uh, a timeline for when that meeting is going to occur and we're also going to have some details as to what the agenda of that meeting is going to be. So you're never going to wonder when am I meeting with Bill again and when is our next meeting. Uh, that's going to be right there in every single follow-up that you get. Um, the next item that I like to see with a financial advisor is technology. So like most industries, technology has really influenced the financial industry as well. And we've got some really fantastic tools that we're using on a regular basis and implementing them with our clients. Uh, some of these tools uh, relate to our financial planning. We use some very sophisticated financial planning software. Uh, we also use some very uh, good risk management software as well that kind of helps us to identify the level of risk that somebody is comfortable with. So uh, you want to find an advisor, in my opinion, that's utilizing some of these new technologies out there. Um, you also want to understand what their process is for investing. And this may be one of the most important aspects as well, but understand what your portfolio is going to do for you and understand what every aspect of your portfolio, uh, what its purpose is and what that's going to do for you long term and how that incorporates in with your financial goals. Uh, so uh, obviously if you've been watching some of our videos here, you know we're very big on financial education. Uh, so we like to spend a lot of time with our clients educating them about their portfolio so that they understand why we're doing certain things within our portfolio, how we're going to react to maybe certain market events and so forth. And then finally, the last thing I want to talk about is financial planning. So obviously not every financial advisor does financial planning, um, but we do here within our practice. In fact, I was fortunate enough when I started in the business uh, back in 1993, I was actually hired to be the financial planning coordinator for our office uh, that I worked at within Merrill Lynch. And I got to grow up in the business as uh, doing financial planning and, and using that as a big part of what we do. So the type of financial planning that we do is something called cash flow based financial planning. And although many financial planners do uh, financial planning, fewer of those do cash flow based financial planning. Uh, the way you can tell the difference essentially is cash flow based financial planning is going to give you much more detail and a better breakdown to understand exactly uh, what's going on within your financial situation. So rather than just doing a retirement report that says you're going to be fine in retirement, we're going to get into some of the detail to understand um, where that money is coming from, how the money is going to be taxed, uh, where any shortfalls may occur down the road uh, within your cash flow situation. So 
Uh, cash flow based financial planning, especially as you get closer to retirement, I think is very, very important. So anyway, one of the things that we're offering, if you're interested in taking a look at what we do here, we have a free, no obligation introductory call. Uh, generally, this is a 15 to 20 minute call that we arrange. Uh, we can spend a little bit of time trying to understand a little bit about what it is that you're trying to accomplish uh, within your financial goals. And uh, we can tell you a little bit more about some of the things that we might be able to do uh, to move you forward. Uh, or help you feel more confident about uh, some of those financial goals. So anyway, we're going to put the number uh, for our office right up here on the screen. Uh, call that number. Uh, Julie, my assistant, will uh, schedule a convenient time for you where we can, like I said, spend about 15 or 20 minutes, um, learn a little bit about what you're trying to do, and if it makes sense, we can talk about some next steps to move forward. So anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you're watching this video any place other than our blog at moneyevolution.com, head over there. Lots of free resources and, and great articles to check out. Thanks. I'll see you in my next video.